Welcome to the Dentamax Tip of the Week. Today I'm going to go over something more on the technical side and that is how can you most efficiently back up your practice data. Some of you may be familiar with the option that is available inside of Dentamax and while that will grab the most relevant information for Dentamax, it doesn't always grab everything. So after speaking with the technical support team, we decided to create this video to show you the way that they do backups for you and you can now do them yourself. It's very simple and what you're going to first want to do is find your file explorer so you're not going to be in Dentamax at all. My file explorer happens to be pinned right down here so I'm going to click that and it will open for me. And then you'll want to locate your Dentamax data folder. In most cases, you can find that by coming to this PC and choosing the local disk C. Then you'll open this file here for Dentamax data. And you'll notice that there's going to be different names here depending on the names of your databases and whether you have one or more databases. I'm going to go ahead and simply copy the data here for my 18 data. For larger practices, it's recommended that you right click on the practice and copy, then choose where you want to save or move the data to for backup purposes. Do a right click and paste the data. It will move everything over for you. And and I'm not gonna have it run through this entire process. It can take a bit of time depending on how large your database is. So that's the option if you have a larger practice. I'm gonna cancel this for now, just so I can show you the other option. So I'm gonna remove it from this. So the other option, if we come back to your data, is to right click and come down here and say send to compressed zipped folder. So we'll let that pull all of that data into the compressed file. Once it's done, we're gonna do basically the same thing, but instead of copying an uncompressed file, we're just gonna go ahead and drag this guy right onto the USB. So again, the zipped is going to be something you can do for a smaller practice. If you're a larger practice, you're going to want to copy the whole folder instead of compressing it. And that's just because it's going to take a lot more time for the computer to compress a larger practice file. So you can just copy and paste it over. Now that that's done, I have that information in here. There will also be a couple other tables in here that you can go ahead and copy over. Some of those might include your time clock information or other miscellaneous things that aren't included in the data itself for the practice management. So this may be some of those add-on modules and the registration and product keys. If you come into the local disk C and you're not finding the Dentamax data folder, you'll have a couple extra steps in order to locate that information. The first thing you'll need to do is find your server's IP address. For that, we will go into Dentamax. We'll come into our setup, and then we're gonna come into the system setup section here, and then choose the option for change server IP. This window that pops up for us is going to give us the IP address for your server. You'll want to go ahead and write this number down. We can then go ahead and click cancel and we'll close out of that. And then if you need to, you can simply close Dentamax. Then from here, what you'll want to do, and you'll do this on each computer, is you'll come down to your start menu and you can start typing CMD. And once you find that command prompt, we'll go ahead and click that to open. In this screen, we're going to start off by typing I-P-C-O-N-F-I-G. And we're going to hit enter on my keyboard. We're going to see a lot of information that pops out here for us. Look for that line that says I-P-V-4. You'll find that here on my screen. I'll highlight that for you. You would continue to check this line on every computer until the address that you received from Dentamax matches this line here. I know that I am not the server computer, so I know that this isn't going to match and I don't have access to my server computer. But this, just for informational purposes, is how you would go through the process of locating your server. 
Once you did go through this process and you do locate your server, you would then be able to go to the data file on that computer and you would be able to do the same process that we've just discussed. If you have any other questions on that, you can email training at dentamax.com. If you want to reach out to technical support for additional questions on this, you may do that as well. Their phone number is 1-800-704-8494, and they are going to be option one, then three, or you may email support at dentamax.com.